What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be using a powerful team for the ranked ladder that features Hearth Flame, Mask, Ogre Pond, Milotic, and Roaring Moon in Regulation E. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. This team right here was created by my boy Clover Bell. So huge shout out to Clover Bells for making this team and handing out the rental code. If you guys want the pokey pace to this team or want to go check out other teams he has built that are actually great for high rank competitive play, make sure you guys head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But Roar Moon is going to be our first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. It's got Poder Synthesis alongside with the Booster Energy as its item. It's got Acrobatics, Knock Off, Tailwind, and Protect. Love Roar Moon, especially in Regulation E. I feel like it's going to be a pretty strong Pokemon. And our second slot is going to Milotic. And Milotic is that Pokemon in Regulation E where you're not going to have a problem with it, right? It's going to be solid on any single team you use it on. It's got Competitive with the Leftovers as item, Rock and Scald, Icy Wind for a bit of Speed Control, Haze to deal with any kind of stat changes, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. We got Choice Scarf Landers in our third slot with Intimidate, and then a great move set of Stop and Cancel EQ, Rock Side, and U Turn. Then in our fourth slot, we're rocking out with Flutter Me with Protosynthesis and the Fairy Feather as its item. We got Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Substitute, and Protect. Everything's pretty normal on this Flutter Main right here, and normal so far on this team. We got Iron Hands in our fifth slot, great Pokemon for any team, good outside the Trick Room or within the Trick Room with Quirk Drive and Assault Vest. Its four moves consist of Fake Out, Wild Charge, Drain Punch, and Heavy Slam. In our final slot is the brand new Pokemon and arguably one of the strongest Pokemon in Regulation E. It is going to be Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond. It has Mold Breaker as its ability so it can hit through abilities and also has Ivy Cudgel with Wood Hammer, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Not the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto the Regulation E rank ladder and look to showcase Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond. First match is on its way, and we're going up against an Illumise team. Is that how you pronounce this Pokemon? I think it has Prankster, so it's definitely a support Pokemon. Alongside with Ogre Pond, Hearth Flame Mask, just like us, and then Gengar, Reverum, Obama Snow for Weather Control, which we probably won't see unless, but at least they are rocking out with Dragapult. So Roaring Moon could be a solid lead for us. We could set up a Tailwind. We can really get after it. So I am going to end up leading a Roaring Moon. So I'll lead the Roaring Moon. I will also go into Ogre Pond for the lead. Just because I really like this Pokemon up against a lot of these guys. And then in the back end, we'll go Flutter Main and probably Choice Scarf Lander, right? Speed's going to be a friend. We're going to need speed. So I'm going to go in with Choice Scarf Landers as our final Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Going up against a Gengar team, which is actually really cool. Gengar is such a cool Pokemon, but it's pretty much a Glass Cannon, right? A lot of them rock Focus Ash. And what I mean by Glass Cannon is it hits like a truck, but it can't really take a hit. But out comes the Elamize. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, and Dragapult. So both of them are going to come out here. We are going to boost our energy pop. Um, I might Terrasilize here. I might Terrasilize here. I mean, we have speed unless they Tailwind with that. So I figured I might Terrasilize and then pop a Tailwind. And then on top of that, maybe just Spiky Shield or just Ivy Cudgel. Let's see now. I'm just going to Spiky Shield here. You know, we're just going to Ivy Cudgel. We're going to get after this thing. Straight up attacking. So if this thing's not popping a Tailwind, we get off our own Tailwind, and we'll be thriving after that. So obviously, Dragapult is a little scary. We got a nice little Fairy Pokemon in the back end. Maybe I should have swapped into it, but I, I feel as I like what we're doing here. The Thunder Wave's going to come out here. You are going to slow us down. Can you still outspeed Dragapult? That would be lovely, but I highly doubt it. Dragapult's a pretty fast Pokemon. The Dragon Dart's going to come out here, which we should be able to soak, which is actually really good for us. So the Thunder Wave flies here. We soak pretty well here. Ivy Cudgel's going to come out here. This should be able to just rip some damage and take out the Illumise. Cool. So see you later to that. Can you not be paralyzed this turn? Love you. So we get off this beautiful Tailwind. So Tailwind is now out and about. Um, hmm. And with this Tailwind up, even with Thunder Wave, I think we outspeed. I think we outspeed, which is massive, which is really, really big. So we take speed control, we get rid of their prankster Pokemon, and we do a great terror type because Dragon Darts would have just ripped into me. So out comes their Ogre Pond. Their lovely little Ogre Pond's gonna come out here. I am going to throw an Acrobatics in that slot, and I think I just Ivy Cudgel 
I don't want to double down. I really don't want to double down. Hmm. You know, we'll just do this instead. We'll go for a knockoff in this slot. And I'm just gonna spike shield. And because if you dragon darts, that's scary. Let me see something real quick. I just want to make sure the booster energy was in speed. I know it was an attack. So you might not be able to. I don't think you have speed. It's a problem. I'm just gonna Ivy cudgel him down, even though I think ooh, I was gonna say I think he's terrestrializing, which he doesn't. Let's see, now the Dragon Dart's gonna come out here, potentially, maybe, probably. Let's see if Roar Moon can outspeed. Yeah, it doesn't. It does not. Another Dragon Dart gets cooking here. And of course, Roar Moon cannot move because it's paralyzed. Really sucks. Really terrible. Hmm. I think we have to go after you. I'm gonna double down the Ogre Pond here. And now it's gonna be the time that they throw the mask on, which is pretty smart. The mask comes out here, beautiful little turn. And I think from here, the turn's gonna go Ogre Pond, my Ogre Pond, which is gonna do maybe like not anything crazy damage because it seems all fire now. And then their Dragapult, and then my. Hopefully, my Roar Moon. Hopefully, their Ogre Pond goes last. But still, nice little chunk of damage there. Not too bad. Dragon Dark does come out here. Both my Pokemon should be able to survive shots from this. Which we do, and can Roar Moon go next? No, you do not. You do not. You simply do not. And you're gonna die out here. That Paralyzed really came in clutch there. They're, they're wasting out the Tailwind turns pretty well. And they get rid of my Roar Moon. So from here, we have the Choice Scarf on the Lando, which is actually massive. And you do have EQ. And I kinda want to choice into an EQ, like I'm not gonna sit here and lie. But I think I might just save that and just go into Flutter Main in this turn. Right? Yeah, it makes the most sense. So I'm gonna go, go into Flutter Main here. I think it might be choice into Dragon Darts, which it kind of seems that way. So from here, I'm just gonna Shadow Ball into you. And do we have one more turn left in Tailwind? We do. And on top of that, you know what? Just in case he wants to Shadow Ball into me or a Spiky Shield, I'm just gonna go after Dragapult with an Ivy Cudgel. Just so we don't die to spiky shield damage, if that's the case. Because I do believe Shadow Ball to take out this Ogre Pond. And we can just get rid of it. We end up withdrawing Dragon Pulse. So yeah, it's definitely Choice Band. It's definitely Choice Band. We have a great Pokemon in the back end. He's going to go into Gengar. So Gengar comes out here. Don't really mind too much. And there's the spiky shield that we read. So Gengar is here. Shadow Ball is going to get blocked. And we will get off a free Ivy Cudgel onto this Pokemon right here. The Ivy Cudgel coming in hot here. Beautiful damage. Bring this thing down to one. Bringing you down to one. So that's massive. So Tailwind's gone. Um, I really like our, our uh, Lando as back end Pokemon. Just EQ. And that's why I didn't want to go into it right away. I didn't want to EQ and just start killing my Pokemon while they protect it. So saving Lando as back end is perfect. But I just want to check Fluttermane's speed real quick. And it's 175, and actually, I think, I think what's called might outspeed you, which is kind of ugly. Gengar might outspeed. Gengar might outspeed, but from here, you know what? I'm just going to go follow me, because like I said, I'm fairly confident in my, in my back end Lando. So I'm just going to follow me shots. <coughs> Bless me. Thank me. Sneeze a little bit, and then uh, go from there. So, oh, you have Icy Wind, you little booger. You little booger. Now that now that hurts the soul right there, Icy Wind. See, I wish my Fluttermane speed was up, was up to check, right? Like a max out speed Fluttermane here would have been beautiful. But he has some Horn Leeching, and that KOs me too. So he's back up to full HP. But again, I really like the Lando in the back end. I love the Lando in the back end. So as long as Gengar is not... No, it's Sash. I was going to say, as long as it's not Swiss Scarf, we should be fine. Because I only can bring out Lando. I can outspeed. I should be able to KO Ogre Pond in one shot. I should be able to KO the Slanders in one shot. The one thing I'm scared of is going to be the Dragapult. Dragapult is really what's scaring me. Because I don't know if we can KO the Dragapult. But from here, we're just going to go EQ. This should be an easy double kill, no problem. If they want to swap in the Dragapult, that would be 
even better, but I really like this. EQ should come out here. Easy double kill, correct? Beautiful. And then we will outspeed the Dragapult, but I don't know if we can take a shot from Dragapult. And I don't know if we can take out Dragapult one shot. I'm kind of hoping we can. But solid match from us so far. We saved the landers for the perfect time. The perfect time. But their Gengar comes in clutch, making this one an actual battle. That Ice Wind really came up clutch. So now Dragapult comes out here. He's at full HP. That's Again, that's my problem. Can we eat up a Dragon Darts? I don't think we're KO in one shot. We're definitely doing at least half. Lando hits hard. Dragon Darts is scary. And it might have a different choice move that it's going to choice into. But EQ comes out here. And now it's going to stay with Dragon Darts. And we're able to. So, beautiful. Thank you, Lando. I'm just always scared of how hard a Dragapult hits. Because they hit like trucks. They really do hit like trucks. We're just going to spam EQ again. We're not missing them. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Clutch up with Landers in the back end. Beautiful match number one. Second match is on its way. And we're looking to go 2-0 here. Hot start for us in match number one. Using the Hearth Flame Master Ogre Pond and saving our Landers for the perfect time. But we're going up against an Alolan Ninetales Snow Team. Alongside with Iron Bundle and Bax Calibur. So two Ice-type Pokemon that are really going to thrive in the snow. And then they got Flutter Mane. Uh, Tornadus for support and Earth. So we have no way of weather control. So it's probably just like an easy It's easy for them to go in the snow But from here, I think Tailwind is gonna be our best friend, right? So I'm gonna go Roar and Moon try to set off that Tailwind. I mean, the only problem is Ice type Pokemon Maybe we should just go into Milotic and Icy Wind. Could be a little bit better for us, right? But Freeze Dry, like yo, dude, it's just such a problem. Iron Bundle is just such a problem He really is. He really is just such a problem Hmm what do I do here? What does Jeans do here? Maybe we just go into like a Pokemon like Landers with the Choice Scarf. I kind of like that. I kind of like the Landers with Choice Scarf. Alongside with Fake Out Iron Hands. That'd be beautiful. Ogre Pond in the back end. And Milotic? Hmm. I don't really like Milotic. That's my problem. I don't really like it. I'd rather get to bring a faster Pokemon like Fluttermane. But the ice is just... Oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's such a problem. I don't really know how I'm going to handle it, so I'm kind of just going into this one blindly. Looking for the win here, though. We'll, we'll, we'll get after it, but the, I just don't really see my team countering the ice, right? I mean, we got fake out turn one. I got the ground coming at you. And we'll see. This was the exact lead I was scared of. The Landers Iron Hands come out here. And from here, I think we might just U-turn pivot with... With Lando. Um... Who do I fake out though? I could just go in the rock side would be a little bit better. I think I just fake out probably you, right? Yeah, because I really don't want a roar bill happening. And chance of protecting is probably higher on the iron bundle slot. So I'm just gonna choose into a rock side here and I'm just gonna fake out the level 9 Who could be cover cloak? That is an option. That definitely is an option, but I'm hoping it's light clay instead because light clay works so perfectly on the level 9 tails. So if I were them, I'd just double protect here. I think that's just the smartest play to just simply double protect, read out what I'm doing, and then dodge the fake out at the same time. But he's going to end up terrestrializing. Nice little terror type. He got cooked. You're going to go Iron Bundle Ghost type? Iron Bundle Ghost type. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay, actually. Because now it's not weak to rock. But still, maybe we can get off a of flinch. We go for a fake out here. We're going to hope that this is not Cobra Cloak. And Rock Side's going to get cooking. Rockside chunking up some big time damage. We like that a lot. Blizzard's gonna fly here and down goes Lando. Lando's not surviving that. So again, we're really hoping that this thing is not sashed or a uh, cover cloak. And it's not. Okay, so it's not. Um, this is tough. This is real tough. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond. This is so tough. And I think I'm just going to uh, put the mask on him, right? Go full fire typing. And who do I go after? I think I just try to KO you. And then I guess we have to allow them to just set up the, uh, the Aurora Bell, right? There's no way we can take it out now. Do I spiky shield? I'm thinking of just spiky shield here. No, I can't. 
Huh. I guess we'll go to a heavy slam here. Okay. Alright. Let's put on the mask. Like I said, I said it from the beginning. I said this ice squad's gonna be a pain. And it is. Like, especially Iron Bundle is just so good at taking out water Pokemon, fire Pokemon, grass type Pokemon, ground type Pokemon, flying type Pokemon. It's just got all the moves to do so. And all the speed in the world. So this, so this Pokemon ends up setting up a world run. Now that's a little odd. I guess he wants to go for the fairy move. But he's gonna go for the hypnosis. Whew. Thank the Lord we actually We actually dodged that. Because that's massive. Not going to this. I can still KO. I can get the crit. Beautiful. I think I was KOing regardless. But a war is a little bit of a problem. And we're hoping Heavy Slam can actually KO this Nine Tails. Because if we can KO this Nine Tails, we have a, we have a uh, we're right back in this game. Heavy Slam coming out here. I know a war bell's here. And we do get the KO. Beautiful. Iron Hands. Oh, another crit. Getting a little lucky here, but I'll take it all day. We needed that. We needed that. I'll take it all day. I I will use this as a, as a I can't complain when the opponent gets some nice RNG later in, in today's video. Okay. So he ends up going into Fluttermane. So Heavy Slime's going to work out wonderful here. I mean, a War Veil's up, which is kind of annoying. Vax Cobbler's going to come out here. And he's going to also boost her. So is that going to be a nice little speed boost? I mean... No, it's special attack. Even worse. Because I was going to say, you don't speed us anyway. So from here, I might just follow me the shots. Actually, you're vested. You should be able to soak up some shots. I'm just going to spike your shield here. And I'm going to go for the heavy slam in this slot. Maybe should just swap and save the fake out for later. But, oh, Flutter Man isn't protecting. Nice, lovely protect. We'll see what Baxcalibur's doing, because Baxcalibur might just come after my ogre problem with Spiky Shield. Nice little shield's full of Spiky. And he is. Cool. So, it's a neutral turn. Everything cancels out. We will stick with a Heavy Slam into the, uh... Into the Flutter main slot. There's no point to not do it. And I think we'll just go for, like... Ivy Cudgel. Right in the U. Or do we double? I think we double down to Fluttermane at this point. Because in the back end, we have the Fluttermane. And Fluttermane should be able to counter Excalibur pretty well. Unless it terrestrializes into a really good typing. I'm going to double down in the Fluttermane at this point. Just attack at both sides. And he's going to end up Moonblasting me. Which I should be able to serve, right? I do. Thank you, Assault Vest. Thank you, Mr. Assault Vest. So Ivy Cuz is going to come out here. Maybe this will straight up KO. I would love for it to, but I don't think it does, right? It does, yo. This thing's just a beast. Yo, this thing's a beast. Even in a war bell, it's just slapping through Pokemon. Scale Shot's gonna come out here, and we're dodging. Ogrepan's dodging. That's gonna be match number two. I'm really surprised we won this match. We were in such a tough position. We were really in such a tough position. But the boy Ogrepan coming up clutch. Now I just I have a cudgel. I drop a nice little drain punch. That is a game set match. Can't terrestrialize. You already did with the iron bundle. And I got the big boy mash right there. Right there, yo. The Mask Ogre Pond. The Fire one's actually, I think, the best one on the Rank Ladder. It's just so powerful. You get attack boost from his Mask, and he just hits like a truck, as you guys have been seeing. He's going to Thermal Change. He's going to get the attack boost, but I'm not really too worried. Icicle Spear's going to come out here, and I feel like you had the KO Ogre Pond to really do anything up against me. Because now I just outspeed you, and I'm going to KO you. Yeah. That's totally fine. Cool. Now I get to bring out Fluttermane. I got a Fairy-type Pokemon. That's a game set match. Come on, man. That's too easy. It's way too easy. We also have the Fairy Feather, which is a new item that boosts our uh, fairy damage. Nice little Fairy Feather. So, Ivy Cudgel's gonna come out here. Nice, lovely Moon Blast. Blasting of Moons. And he's gonna try to Ice Shard me. And that actually did a lot of damage, low key. Right? Half damage? That's fine, though. Fluttermane comes out with the Moon Blast. There it is. 2 and 0. Let's go hop to a third. Look to use Ogre Pond a bit more. And uh, look for a perfect record. Final match is on its way, and we're going up against an Okie Doki team with Wellspring Ogre Pond. We're sitting at 2 0. Beautiful. Love it. But I would rather go 3 0 with the Hard Flame Ogre Pond because he really is broken. He's very, very strong. We also have Hisuian Arcanine with probably Intimidate, so Competitive Biotic might be a great Pokemon for this battle. Alongside with Tornadus and then Moltres and Fluttermane as their final Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm going to leave Milotic here. Milotic's just going to be great. It's super effective onto the. Uh, both the flying types and onto that Arcanine. So I'd like Milotic here. Plus it counters Intimidate really, really well. <clears throat> In the back end, I definitely want Ogre Pond, but I think I'm gonna lead 
Probably Roaring Moon, right? I like Roaring Moon. I love Roaring Moon. I don't think they lead Flutter Moon, so I could probably get off a of Tailwind that way. And then I can bring Ogre Pond in the back end alongside with probably either Flutter Moon or Lando. Hmm. Which one do I want? <laughs> Which one do I want? Which one do I want? I don't really know. Um, Probably Flutter Moon. I mean, I'd really like to speed on Lando, but Flutter Moon's just great. Flutter Moon's just going to be super effective onto a few. So, let's lock it in. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. You can't go wrong with Flutter Moon. I feel like if, you, if you're struggling in decision, just click Flutter Moon, right? It's 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 solid up against moves. So, I'll bring Flutter Moon here. We're looking to go 3 0, but hey, 2 0 already. We're guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Can't want much more than that, you know? Gotta stay hydrated, get some water in me. Got a hockey game tonight. Actually, it got postponed. Where I said it got postponed to tomorrow night, but still, gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> but I am going into Okie Dogi alongside Tornadus, which I mean is a pretty solid lead. I'm just thankful that uh, the Flutter Mane's not out here. So from here, I can just go into a nice, lovely Scald. Maybe look for a burn on the Okie Dogi. I know it's probably best it. And then on top of that, I'm just gonna. Tailwind. Actually, I'm going to Terrastalize Tailwind. And the reason I want to Terrastalize Tailwind is because Okie Dogie is part fighting type. And I really don't want to take a Drain Punch straight to the face and die. So, Terrastalize is key. It is key to matching Tailwind and then going Acrobatics next turn. Because I'm about that. I'm about that. He actually might Terrastalize with Okie Dogie, which is definitely an option. We'll see, though. He does not. And they're not going to Tailwind either. No Tailwind. It's just Acrobatics. They're just attacking. Skulls can come out here. Does a nice damage. Can we get a little burn action? No burn action. And yo, you better stop bulking up because I'm just going to kill you next turn. You're gone. Unless you Terrastalize. Defense is going to get boosted. And what are you going for? A nice lovely Bleak Wood Storm. And watch. They're going to get double speed drop. No problem, right? There's one. One speed drop. Come on, man. Why couldn't you get all my Milotic? That would have... Dude, that would have just triggered competitive and it would have been beautiful. would have been lovely. It would have been perfect. Would've been perfect. So from here, I'm gonna Icy Wind. I think I gotta start matching some speed here. There's a chance that they'll probably pop Tailwind, and then I'll just go for an Acrobatics into Okie Dogie, who might Terrasize, who might not. You never know. If it doesn't, then I think we might just pick up KO, but bulk up Okie Dogies. Looking a bit terrifying, right? <laughs> it's looking a little scary. Because it kind of reminds me of Annihilate. Like, you set up the bulk up, and then you have Stab Dream Punch, and it just hits like a truck, and then you get a ton of HP back. Then you're pretty bulky on top of that, but he is going to end up terrestrializing Okie Dogie into a nice lovely water type. So a water type comes out here. And he ends up matching the Tailwind. So Okie Dogie should be fastest on the field at this point. He's going to go for a Drain Punch into Milo, who's able to soak. He's going to go back up to full HP. But from here, I'm going to be able to Icy Wind. And that should make... Maybe more moon fast on the field. Actually, Tornadus would be fastest on the field. Oh no, no, he won it. War Moon won. The War Moon's now fast on the field with the double Icy Wind drop and Acrobatics and Fly. So let's see how much damage we can do with this. Enough damage, yo. My crit's been on. My crit's been on today. They've been on, baby. They've been on. We've been critting too much. I feel sorry for our opponents when I do that. But I know it always comes around full circle, right? Tomorrow's video, I'm just going to give you getting ripped. Five turn uh, sleeps, all that good stuff with RNG. So it comes full circle. So we'll, ta we'll, ta we'll take what we can get on a good days like this. So that crit, I finish you off. Moltres is going to come out here. And I think I just Icy Wind again, correct? Yeah, I'm just going to Icy Wind. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to Acrobat some Moltres. I'm not really too worried about Tornadus on the attacking side. I'd rather just go after the Moltres. I end up Icy Winning again, slowing down everybody yet again, which is beautiful. And maybe I can KO the bird. I would love to just KO the bird here. Oh, don't you dare tell me. You got weakness policy? That's absurd. That is absurd. This isn't Dynamax format in Sword and Shield. Weakness policy isn't used that much in this game. But Acrobat's gonna fly here. And we leave it on one. And now it's plus three. And now it's plus three. But, but, but it's minus one. And now I can pretty much just bring out Fluttermane here and wrap up this match, right? We won't even need to use Overcome. 
Actually, I think I'd rather use Ogre Pond here. I think I would rather use Ogre Pond. Oh, I thought Milo, I thought Milo uh, survived. Milo actually died. Okay, that's even better. That's even better because I know we're fast on the field. And now I can just go Ivy Cudgel. And just Acrobatic Shoe. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That's lovely. Let's hit our Tailwind end. Double protect, so he's wasting out our talent turns. That's smart. That's a smart little cookie play. Smart cookie play. So, what do I want to do from here? We actually have a match now. Not to wasting out our tailwind. And they have it. Now, now let me see their speeds. So, you're minus two and you're minus one. I think you fiery wrath, which is the problem, right? So we have to get rid of you more so than anything. So I think I try to pull off a tailwind if I can, right? And there's the fiery wrath, which is terrifying. And yeah, that's no good. Because if you land a bleak when storm, would lose this match all day. Hmm. I think I got ahead of myself here. Here comes a bleak when storm. I oh, know we're out speeding. We're out speeding, so that, that helps out tremendously. Maybe you miss a Bleak Storm. That'll be massive. No, you don't. Okay, so it turns to a 2v1. I mean, I have Fluttermane, so really depending on who they bring out here, it's going to be the match. I feel like this is going to be the most perfect Pokemon of all time. The so Fluttermane, come on down here. Let's get after it. Let's do this, and who are you going to? It's the real question. Who's your final Pokemon? What you got cooking with? Yeah, nice little counter. Yeah, that hurts the soul. <laughs> that hurts the soul. We cannot KO this thing. It's going to be a tough time doing that. But I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. I'm going to... I think I just target down Arcanine. See how much damage we can do. But it's pretty bulky. It's going to be able to just hit us. Tailwind's coming out here. Flare Blitz going to do plenty of damage. And if I don't one-shot it, we'll we lose. And EQ's doing... Or not EQ. Rock Slide's doing just as much. And they get the flinch. Like I said, the RNG comes full circle. I'm going to just run this one. Solid third and final match. We go 2-1 and, and we dominate in today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record with Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond. Absolutely love this team so much. Ogre Pond, especially with the Hearth Flame Mask, is top tier in regulation. You're going to be seeing it all across the, uh, all across the meta. So if you guys want to rent this team and use it yourself, it's up in the top right-hand corner. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.